Hey guys! Hey! Hey, it's Viviana and welcome to my channel. If you're new around here, you are welcome. I talk about my journey of faith, marriage and motherhood with a young and growing family. Hey guys! Are you guys having a good time? And here's this little man that's joined us. And who's Caleb? Caleb! And how old is he? One. One. And how old are you? Okay, yes. and do you want to do your memory verses today? Yes! Okay, take a seat. Yes! yes. Fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, patience, and self-control. Good job. Do you know where that is in the Bible? Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 to 23. How many fruits of the spirit are there? Nine. Good job. Um, G. H. Loving I. You know, never want it to be like a showing off thing or something like, oh, look at my kids, they know all these Bible verses. I am very keen on making sure our kids have a biblical foundation in everything they do, especially in this world we're living in. And now, you know, they're in school, like at this age already, they're able to just start having a bit of a authority and wisdom in certain areas. As parents, we're not, we're not always going to be there. So the only thing we can do is pray for our kids and plant those seeds. I'll show you what I'm wearing and hopefully can give some inspiration for other girls like me who we all know the struggle is real to find tall clothes. Every time I see the lights I Even though the twins do go to school outside the home, we homeschool as well. And I definitely see the benefit of doing both. Because let's check the sound map. Where's sh on the sound map? Shoe. Shoe. So that's a digraph, isn't it? And Olivia is also practicing her cursive writing. I would say she's a better writer than me. I once heard having kids like cleaning up at a party you were not invited to. Coldest December that we've ever had. But I know, I know a place that will be warm. Thank you, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. This year, we'll come together from all corners of the world. And I Usually Sam does the children's bedtime stories before he tucks them into bed. Because he knows the children aren't going to see him in the morning before he leaves for work, he really enjoys his time with them. And I do have a few girls I'm mentoring at the moment, and even though we talk a lot over Messenger, it's nice when I can find the time to meet up with them one-on-one -on -one or talk over the phone. And we use this time to encourage, pray, disciple, all that good stuff. And I just think there's so much beauty in having that relationship with someone and learning from them, because I definitely have learned from a lot of older and wiser women who have taught me a lot of things along the way. If I properly introduce you to my parents, this is my dad and my mom. Hi, where are you guys going? Cinema and so much. Look shopping. at them going to the cinema like newlyweds because yeah. we're all grown up now. <laughs>
Guys, guess where we are? Can you see where we are? Yes. Are you excited? We were meant to be. So we are now in Disneyland, day one. How's it going, baby? It's too much. It's not easy traveling on holiday when you've got no extra help. It's literally just me and Sam, and we are truly outnumbered. December that we've ever had But I know I know a place that will be warm This year We'll come together from all corners of the world Oh, mommy sandwich Horses are your armor and protection to give them salvation We are in the strawberry farm and it's so pretty. Every time I close my eyes, I can't fall asleep. Snow I'll be honest, I'm I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous because I've never gone live before. Um but this is my first live seeing. I think all of us are working moms technically, whether we work outside the home or we stay at home with our kids or we work inside the home. Like I say I don't have any rule at that quiet time apart from the fact I believe it's something that should be done daily and in terms of the time to do it is giving God the best part of your day. If I wake up, I seek the Lord, I pray and then I'm like, Lord, these are the things on my plate for today. To be honest, I know I can't do all of them and I just kind of seek him on wisdom and direction of what things should be a priority and that will just help me structure the rest of the day. So the dish we're cooking today is jollof rice, but how are we going to do it today, Mom? We're going to do it in a uh, special way, short and simple, in a rice cooker. What? Jollof rice in a rice cooker? Now I know somehow we were meant to be this year. My name is Olivia Taiwan. Olivia Taiwan. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am strong. I am strong. I am confident. I am confident. I am bold. I am bold. I love myself. I love myself. I love my hair. I love my hair. What do you love? I love my mummy and daddy and my family. That's so cute. We love you too. Is there anything you love about yourself? Together, I love the way God I love to give a talk on giving God our children. We speak in the Bible, find things that are age appropriate for them, and we do memory verses for them a lot. And so just having that foundation, and some people might be like, they don't understand it anyway, they're just mimicking you, but they're going to mimic someone anyway, so it's important to give them someone great in the time. Instead of staying, wishing I was there. I'm like, guys, slow down. One person speak. I do not know what's going on. And then, we'll see, my daughter volunteered to speak, and she's like, Mommy, Caleb fell in the pool, and Daddy saved his life. And he's just looking at me. It feels really a little bit cold. But it's when they showed me where he fell. That's when I. spiritual warfare and I just had this vision of demons and they're the ones who like 
pulling him down the devil you know it says steal kill and destroy kill like yeah she wants to kill our kids he's after our kids um and pulling him down and then during a period that intentional period of prayer and session warfare what you want to call it like angels and the lord's hand was on him just pulling him up and that's a battle that's being waged in the spiritual realm and as parents and walking in obedience to what the Lord's told you to do, you can be someone who can intercede in that moment between what could be life or death. There, I said it. We were meant to be. But we look so much alike. Everyone says it. My mum in love is so beautiful. Right, and now I'm with I'm sorry, my father-in-law. We're in Lagos, Niger. Hello. <laughs> and everyone is offering us taxis. Yeah, so I'm just really glad to see Amy came to come and see us, and it's just been amazing this trip and yeah. finally getting to meet. See, see, Amy's vlogging. Hey, so we have finally arrived in Abuja. We're now on the train stations in Abuja, ready to catch our train to Kaduna for one of the most exciting legs of this journey, which is going to Kaduna. See my grandma! We're about to surprise grandma. Hi, Hey! 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 It's loudspeaker, Grandma. So today's my day off. Uh, I thought I'd get a lie in, but no, obviously not. Because Bibbs had a late night last night. Actually, it was one of those rough nights. I think Caleb's teething. Anyway, so I decided to get the kids ready for school, and um, she gave me a camera, which I didn't know was involved in the daily routine. Anyway, so I'm going to take control. It's Dad Life, my new channel coming soon. Check it out. Shake here, shake here, that's the wrong foot. Get up! Get up! Be quick! No, no! Quick up! Shake here, shake here, that's the wrong foot. Get up! Be quick! No, no! Quick up! Shake here, shake here, that's the wrong foot. Get up! Be
That means be quick. Yeah, 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 And introduce myself, I am Bibiana, and this is my husband. Sam. Hey! Hey! Hey, fam, it is Sam and Bibi. Hi everybody! What's up? Hey families, we have talked about conflict, we have talked about money, we have talked about purpose. Parenting, yeah. As Nigerians and diaspora, I'm very proud of where I'm from, I'm very yeah. proud to be Nigerian. Sam and I were born there. I kind of know where where I'm from, so I'm always feel I always feel self-assured wherever I am. I don't have like a, an identity issue. I don't try to be like someone else or kind of feel inferior to other people, other cultures. I think that's really important for children as well. So which is why we want to you know instill that in our kids. Just have that that belief and self-assuredness and, and be proud of who you are, you know where you come from. So personally, it's like I'm proud of you know my culture. You know, I'm proud of like my upbringing, my parents, my language. You know, language is so rich in like parables and things like that. Can you say anything? Uh, no, I'm not, <laughs> not, I'm not very good. I'm not very good at speaking Yoruba. If you're more What are you talking about? And the whole series is really discussing marriage as Christians because yeah. the idea is to discuss topics through a biblical lens. Today we are covering marriage and. The in-laws. Mm -hmm. Hot topic. Yeah, so when you get married, your priority is your spouse. You know, before you were married, your allegiance would be to your parents. I think one thing that causes conflict is when one spouse feels like they're being ganged up against, yeah, yeah, when yeah. the other spouse takes this side of their relative. There's this false expectation that my family's perfect. That can create conflict on, in your heart. Yeah, because you want that. Kind you of want thing. that kind of thing. Um, yeah, but the truth is that we're all broken. You know, we're all sinners, we're fallen creatures, and we all need to experience the unconditional love of Christ. And people are going to disappoint you because of that. And just remember, you're going to disappoint other people as well in your exactly. family. It's so important that we're quick to forgive, you know, and then resist the temptation of keeping a list of wrongs, you know, like they said this to me, I didn't like this, your parents said that, your brother and sister said this kind of thing. It's um, it's really tempting to do that. And, you know, as the holiday periods approach, we just need to pray. I think that's so important. Yeah. We need to focus on being a grace granter. Definitely. You know, because after all, Christmas is all about the grace that we receive freely through Jesus Christ. That's true. Okay. <laughs> marriage is not easy. And it sometimes can be very difficult, it can be very confusing. Ecclesiastes teaches us that although one may be overpowered, two can withstand. And a threefold cord is not easily broken. You know, so the opposite of a threefold cord is a couple that is living a parallel life. Like just you know, yeah. <laughs> and just not really ever intersecting on an intimate level, you know, not doing things as one. It's almost like it becomes like kind of a competition. And that drives a wedge, you know, in the marriage. It leaves a gaping gap. Like For the a, enemy. To yeah, come right just in. like a lane. It's leaving the fast it's lane. Like, if I put my hand here, I'm doing my own thing. Sam's yeah. doing his own thing. And we're not intertwining on an intimate level. Yeah. You see that gap? It leaves a place for the enemy to just yeah a wedge. just wait so Sam and Phoebe and so we're gonna do a husband does my makeup challenge <laughs> like I look like a cat <laughs> how do you think it is we should do like a guess the price three pounds fifty you must want to yay bake nice time to bake but use some heat Times like this, my mom would say to me, What's it called? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> transition is another important thing for you people out there to transition shade. <laughs> this is how you keep other men away from your wife. <laughs> Okay, before we get into the tips, I do want to say a massive thank you because we just realized this channel has hit 10,000 subscribers. Wow, well done. Together. Thanks, love. And you know, it just means the world to me. I'm very grateful to each and every one of you who subscribe. And even if it's just for the one, I just hope this channel is a source of encouragement. So, first question is. What age should I start brushing my child's teeth? And 
Thank you for having me. I've loved sharing my answers and tips and being part of the Channel Mum Meet the Expert series. Hey, so I've arrived in London and I'm actually doing a shoot today for a brand for Fiorelli Bags. They asked me to be part of their campaign for their spring summer collection, which is really exciting. And so I'll show you around. I'll admit I'm a little nervous. I haven't really done anything like this, I guess on this kind of scale before. Like there's a huge glam team, photographers, set directors, the whole thing. And so it's exciting, I guess, to see the opportunities that have kind of come along yeah. through the channel. Share. Oh, well done, babe. Share, comment. We do read all of them. Subscribe. And subscribe. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye. Every time I see the lights, I